Welcome, everyone. Today, we're stepping into the world of Middle-earth, exploring a powerful what-if scenario that could have dramatically changed the fate of its inhabitants. We're going to consider, what if Sauron didn't create the One Ring? How would this absence of the One Ring have affected the other rings of power and their wearers? And, more importantly, would these individuals still have held on to their powers and perhaps even use them for good? The Origins of the Rings To understand the impact of the One Ring's absence, we need to examine the origins and intentions behind the creation of all the Rings of Power. These rings were not created out of malice or for domination. Rather, they were initially crafted by the Elven Smiths of Eregion, specifically Celebrimbor, the grandson of Feanor. Guided by Anatar, Sauron's disguised form, who claimed to be a benevolent and wise emissary of knowledge, the Elves began creating these rings with the intention of preserving and enhancing Middle-earth. The rings embodied the Elves' deep desires to preserve their homelands and halt the natural decay of time that threatened the beauty and stability they cherished. The Elves, being immortal, saw Middle-earth as something worth saving from decline, and through these rings, they could hold onto their power over nature and time itself. They were led to believe that they could protect their realms and deepen their influence in the physical world without yielding to the forces of mortality and change. Sauron's Hidden Agenda However, while the Elves worked under the impression that they were crafting tools for preservation, Sauron harbored a more sinister ambition. By teaching the Elves how to create the rings, he planned to corrupt and control Middle-earth from within. When he finally crafted the One Ring in secret, he intended it to dominate all others, binding them, and the wearers of the rings, to his will. The One Ring thus served as a linchpin for Sauron's dark ambitions. When he wore it, he could wield influence over any wearer of the rings, bringing them under his sway. The Elves, however, perceived his attempt to control them through the One Ring, and immediately removed their rings, severing the initial bond before they could be enslaved. This did not stop Sauron, though. He distributed the remaining rings to dwarves and men, hoping they would succumb to his influence over time. What if Sauron hadn't forged the One Ring? But if Sauron had never crafted the One Ring, the elves, dwarves and men who wore the Rings of Power might have experienced a dramatically different fate. Without the One Ring, the original purpose of the rings preservation, empowerment, and strength might have unfolded without Sauron's corrupting interference. The Elves could have used their rings freely for the benefit of Middle-earth. The Dwarves might have harnessed the rings without falling prey to greed and suspicion, and men might have remained powerful rulers instead of succumbing to the shadow of the Nazgul. Would Middle-earth have become a realm of harmony with the Three, the Seven, and the Nine used for good? Or would the temptations of power ultimately sway even the noblest intentions? This question leads us to our next exploration. Effects on the Three Rings of the Elves The Three Rings of the Elves, Vilia, Narya and Nenya, were unique among the Rings of Power in that Sauron never touched them directly. Celebrimbor crafted these Three Rings independently and as a result they remained pure free from Sauron's immediate taint. Each of the three embodied a fundamental aspect of preservation that aligned with the elven ideals and values. Vilia, the Ring of Air, symbolized healing and strength. Narya, the Ring of Fire, embodied inspiration and courage. And Nenya, the Ring of Water, represented preservation and beauty. The elven bearers of these rings were among the wisest and most influential figures in Middle-earth, Galadriel, who wielded Nenya in Lothlorien, Elrond, who held Vilia in Rivendell, and Sirdan the Shipwright, who originally possessed Narya before passing it to Gandalf. Each of these bearers represented a deep commitment to safeguarding Middle-earth's remaining beauty, wisdom, and strength. The powers of the three without the One Ring. If the One Ring had not been created, these three rings could have functioned freely, allowing their bearers to harness their powers without risk of falling under Sauron's control. 
Galadriel, Elrond, and Gandalf would have been able to wield these rings to protect and preserve Middle-earth's last safe havens. Rivendell and Lothlorien might have become even greater sanctuaries of peace, untouched by the creeping decay of time and shadow. In Rivendell, Elrond might have used Vilia to heal wounds and restore the land, providing a refuge for those seeking wisdom, healing, and protection. Rivendell's influence as a center of council could have expanded, making it a stronghold of knowledge that aided in resisting any threats to Middle-earth stability. Similarly, Galadriel's use of Nenya in Lothlorien would have likely intensified the preservation of her land, creating a place of ethereal beauty that endured despite the inevitable changes in the outside world. Finally, Gandalf's possession of Narya could have served a unique role in encouraging and rallying Middle-earth's free peoples to resist darkness and despair. His mission, even without Sauron's direct threat, would have been empowered by the courage and inspiration that Narya symbolized, possibly uniting the realms of elves, men and dwarves in times of need. Could they have done good? In a world without the One Ring, it's highly likely that the elves would have used their rings for the benefit of all. Free from Sauron's influence, they could have dedicated their powers solely to the preservation and enrichment of Middle-earth, rather than to protect themselves from the encroaching darkness. Rivendell and Lothlorien would have flourished as powerful refugees, and their wisdom, healing and courage would have been freely shared with all who came to their gates. Middle-earth may have become a more unified and resilient world, enriched by the elves' gifts rather than divided by suspicion and isolation. Effects on the Seven Rings of the Dwarves The Seven Rings given to the Dwarves were fundamentally different from those of the Elves. Rather than seeking to preserve beauty or resist decay, the Dwarves' rings were tailored to amplify their natural affinity for craftsmanship, wealth and resilience. Each Dwarven ring enhanced its wearer's natural drive for mining, delving and uncovering treasures within the earth. For the dwarves, wealth symbolized strength and pride, not mere possession, and the rings amplified these qualities, driving them to greater feats of craftsmanship and endurance. However, Sauron's influence over the seven rings twisted these qualities into greed and an insatiable hunger for riches. Under the shadow of the One Ring, dwarven leaders who wore the rings were often driven to hoard wealth, sometimes to their own ruin. These rings heightened their lust for treasures, but offered no real protection from the evils that lurked in the deep places of the world. How the Dwarven Rings might have functioned without the One Ring If the One Ring had never been created, the Seven Rings might have operated simply as tools to enhance the Dwarves' strength and craft without awakening destructive greed. The Dwarves might have built even greater realms, with treasures that benefited not just their people, but Middle-earth at large. Without Sauron's interference, the Dwarven Kings may have used their rings to build alliances, trade networks and cooperative efforts with neighboring realms, rather than retreating into isolated strongholds of wealth. Without the looming threat of the One Ring, Dwarven realms could have flourished without the taint of greed. Great cities like Erebor and Khazad Dum might have grown as centers of culture and craftsmanship, with their wealth contributing to the prosperity of all, rather than being stashed away in guarded vaults. Could they have done good? Without Sauron's influence, it's possible that the dwarves could have used their rings to achieve remarkable feats of craftsmanship and cooperation. The rings would still have enhanced their ambition, but this drive could have been channeled toward the construction of wonders that would benefit all races. The dwarves could have forged partnerships with men and elves, offering their skill in exchange for knowledge and resources, fostering a sense of mutual respect and shared growth. The absence of the One Ring would have allowed the dwarves to maintain their pride and ambition without becoming isolated by greed. As a result, the Dwarven Rings might have contributed to a Middle-earth enriched by the Dwarves' unmatched craftsmanship, building wonders of stone and metal that would stand the test of time. 
This deepened perspective on the three, seven and nine rings offers a glimpse into a Middle Earth where the one ring never existed, giving us insight into what could have been a world where each bearer's gifts were used freely for good rather than ensnared by Sauron's corruptive touch. Let's now consider the fate of the nine rings given to men and how the absence of the one ring might have altered their lives and leadership. Effects on the Nine Rings of Men Of all the rings of power, the nine rings given to men were the most insidious and tragic. These rings promised great power and longevity, but they came at a steep cost. The men who accepted the rings were initially granted extended lifespans and heightened abilities, enabling them to wield influence and control over others. However, the rings of men also led to their eventual enslavement and corruption, turning them into the Nazgul, the ringwraiths, shadowy servants of Sauron. Unlike the elves and dwarves, men were far more susceptible to the seductive allure of power. Their mortality made the gift of longevity almost irresistible, and the promise of dominion over others fed their ambition. Sauron exploited these weaknesses, using the One Ring to bind them fully to his will. Under his influence, the Nine became consumed by darkness, existing as spirits enslaved to his purpose. They lost their original identities and became haunting, undying wraiths, condemned to serve Sauron as his most fearsome agents. The power of the Nine Rings without the One Ring. But what if Sauron had never crafted the One Ring? In this alternate reality, the Nine Rings would still extend their wearers' lifespans and grant them significant powers. But without Sauron's One Ring to control and corrupt them, these gifts might have had a completely different outcome. In such a scenario, the Nine Rings could have made their bearers into powerful and influential leaders. They might have become long-lived rulers who brought stability to their realms, using their wisdom and foresight to guide their people effectively over many generations. Their extended lives would allow them to gain experience and amass knowledge, helping them establish enduring legacies that spanned centuries. Without the One Ring to bind them, the Nine Rings would not have turned their wearers into Nazgul. Instead, these men could have maintained their autonomy and possibly even remained true to their noble intentions. The Nine Rings' powers of influence and longevity could have been channeled into building prosperous and secure kingdoms, creating a Middle Earth where the race of men stood as strong, stable rulers rather than fearsome wraiths. Could they have used their rings for good? Without Sauron's corruption, it is entirely plausible that these men could have used their extended lives and influence to bring about positive change in Middle Earth. They would still be mortal, but they could become great statesmen, warriors, or scholars whose power was used for the betterment of their realms. Instead of being driven mad by the shadow of immortality, they could have learned to use their wisdom and leadership for the good of their people. Imagine a world where the Nine Rings transformed these men into powerful, wise and just rulers. Their extended lives could have fostered periods of unprecedented peace and prosperity across Middle-earth, with each king or leader using his experience to establish fair and enduring governance. They might have acted as guardians of humanity, standing united against threats to the free peoples of Middle-earth. This unified rule could have led to alliances with elves and dwarves, resulting in a strengthened Middle-earth resilient to any external threats that arose in the absence of Sauron's control. In such a world, these leaders, wise and experienced, might have been seen as figures of legend, remembered not as Nazgul, but as powerful and just rulers who left behind legacies of strength and unity. And could the rings have altered the course of Middle-earth? A Middle-earth without the One Ring would be a world where the rings of power existed solely as tools for the preservation, growth and enhancement of the realms ruled by their bearers. The Three Rings would allow the Elves to protect their sanctuaries and preserve their wisdom and beauty. The Seven Rings would amplify the Dwarves' skills in craftsmanship and wealth building, possibly turning their kingdoms into centers of cultural and economic strength. And the Nine Rings would extend the lives of men, allowing them to become wise rulers 
who provided stability and guidance for their realms. This alternate Middle Earth could be one of alliance rather than division. Free from the influence of the One Ring, the bearers of the Three, Seven and Nine could come together in shared purpose. Elves, Dwarves and men would each contribute their unique strengths to a more unified Middle Earth, forging alliances to face any challenges that might arise. The Rings could have become symbols of leadership and guardianship, uniting the races rather than setting them at odds. The potential for prosperity and cooperation. The Three Rings would allow the Elves to maintain sanctuaries of peace, beauty and knowledge, places where wisdom and learning could be shared with others. Rivendell and Lothlorien might have become renowned centers of counsel, welcoming those who sought guidance and learning. The Elves' preservation powers could extend to sharing knowledge with men and dwarves, offering healing, wisdom and aid to any who asked. The Seven Rings of the Dwarves could strengthen their kingdoms and encourage peaceful trade with their neighbors. The Dwarven realms would likely become great economic and cultural hubs, enriched by the Dwarves' remarkable skills in mining and crafting. With the Rings enhancing their natural abilities, the Dwarves might have become even more masterful artisans, creating wonders of craftsmanship that could be shared with all Middle-earth. This could foster alliances with men and elves, leading to trade networks and cultural exchanges that enriched everyone. The Nine Rings, given to men, could transform their bearers into powerful and wise leaders, who brought stability and peace to their realms. These kings or lords would possess both the strength to protect their people and the wisdom to lead them effectively. Together, the bearers of the Nine could form a league of rulers who stood united, fostering peace among their kingdoms and cooperating with the elves and dwarves to resist any dark forces that might threaten Middle-earth. What would have happened to Sauron? In this alternate reality, Sauron's influence would be greatly diminished. Without the One Ring, he would lack the means to control the wearers of the Rings of Power. He would be forced to rely on his own charisma and might, attempting to dominate Middle-earth through persuasion or brute force alone, a far less effective approach than controlling others through the One Ring. Without the ability to dominate the leaders of elves, dwarves and men, Sauron's power would be considerably weakened. His attempts to sway others might still lead to some degree of influence over Middle-earth, but without the One Ring's binding power, his reach would be limited. It is possible he would still attempt to conquer Middle-earth, but he would face greater opposition from a world more united and less vulnerable to his influence. Final thoughts and takeaways. This alternate world prompts us to consider the fundamental nature of power itself. The absence of the One Ring would reveal that power, when wielded responsibly and free from the intent to dominate, could be a force for good. The Three, Seven and Nine Rings of Power, uncorrupted by the One Ring, would amplify the strengths of their bearers and their realms, allowing each race to contribute its best qualities to Middle-earth. For the Elves, the Elves would be able to use the Three Rings to preserve their sanctuaries, extending their culture and wisdom for the benefit of all. Rivendell and Lothlorien would likely be renowned across Middle-earth as places of healing, learning and refuge. The Elves' Rings would enhance their ability to protect their realms and the natural beauty they cherished, creating lasting legacies of peace and knowledge. For the Dwarves, the Dwarves, with their seven rings, would experience greater prosperity and cooperation. Their kingdoms might have become known as centers of craftsmanship and wealth, and their skill in creating treasures would enhance the beauty of Middle-earth. Free from the greed that Sauron's influence brought, the Dwarves could share their creations with others, fostering alliances with men and elves. For men, the Nine Rings would grant men the ability to lead wisely and compassionately, offering long-lived rulers who could guide their people through many generations. These rulers might be remembered as legendary figures who protected and enriched their kingdoms, rather than feared as Nazgul. 
Their strength and longevity would make them powerful allies to elves and dwarves, furthering cooperation and peace. Sauron's limited reach. Without the One Ring, Sauron would be a diminished force, unable to control the leaders of Middle-earth. He might still attempt to sow discord or dominate through other means, but he would face a united world, one where the rings of power fostered strength, cooperation and resilience rather than corruption and division. Sauron's shadow would be far less threatening, and the free peoples of Middle-earth would stand a better chance of repelling his influence. Lessons in Power and Integrity This alternate reality also offers valuable insights into the themes of power, temptation, and integrity. The Rings of Power had immense potential for good. It was only Sauron's intent to dominate that twisted their gifts into tools of corruption. In a world without the One Ring, the rings would remain as they were originally intended. Enhancements to the wisdom, skill, and strength of their bearers. This scenario illustrates that power itself is not inherently evil. It is the intent and purpose. Thank you all for joining me on this exploration into an alternate Middle-earth. Imagining a world where the One Ring was never created opens new doors for understanding the potential of each ring and its bearer. It reminds us of the importance of intention and integrity when wielding any kind of power. What do you think? Could the wearers have truly done good with their rings? Or would the pull of power have found its way into their hearts, even without Sauron's influence? Thank you for being here today, and may this reflection on Middle-earth inspire us all to use our own influence wisely.